As a physical therapist, I have a strong interest in biomechanics of the foot and ankle and how it relates to postural assessment during walking, running, and hiking. As an avid runner myself, I've grown to love uh, biomechanics over the last few years and really welcome a lot of patients who come to my office for running difficulties. I am not limited to treating uh, the running population, but often see folks who have difficulty with walking. When we talk about biomechanics, the foot and ankle, and folks who present with problems, often it's not problems at the foot and ankle, but higher up the chain. In other words, maybe we have some knee instability, or maybe some hip and pelvis instability. Sometimes we find that weakness in the hips, whether it's for a past injury or just inherent, it sometimes will affect how the foot and ankle mechanics play during running and walking. These folks are evaluated in standing as well as walking because faults or imbalances can't always be found if you're laying still or static. You have to be moving. And when people are evaluated moving, a lot of times you can see positionings happen at the knee and the hip that makes sense that it would translate into problems at the foot and ankle. The magic is not in the medicine or the art of physical therapy, but surely the magic in getting someone back into walking and running is that person's magical way of allowing their body to heal with good direction, good exercise, good stretching, and the proper shoe wear.